This episode is brought to you by Raycon. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what Raycon has in store for you. I think we need to ban the word boozy. I thought you muted notifications. Not when they come from management. Nine. Nine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Mez? two, one. What's wrong? He's coming. Oh, not him. You didn't tell the ogres, did you? They don't know nothing unless you told them. Good. Then let's settle this like... Actually, what are your pronouns? Where's our captain? I've hidden him where you'll never find him. Go there. What? I don't have him. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> uh, he's, he's not in the house. What did I tell you? Now, if you want him back, you need to apologize. And Excuse me? You figure us for a bunch of spice dingoes? The Ginyu Force does not negotiate. <sighs> Uh, which explains her salary. So unless you want to find out just how indestructible you really are, you better start talking. All right then, by all means, make me talk. Winning? Sure, none of us could use our key, and you've got eight years of interpretive dance. However, I've got 150 years of accumulated experience from the greatest warriors in the galaxy. Also, Vegeta. Fine. If that's how you want to play it. Hmm? <laughs> Goldo wasn't just checking your house, mate. He was also planting bombs! Please, you're bluffing. You blow up my house and you'll be the one stuck rebuilding it. Ah, ah, ah. We're independent contractors, which means we can take all the time in the other world. Rikum likes long lunches. All right, then. You want to make me mad? Then I'll get mad. <laughs> What in the blazes? This is my self-destruct form! You take out my house, I'll take out this whole godforsaken rock! So go ahead, hit the button! I've got nothing to lose! That, I get it. Mad. M-A-D. Mutually assured destruction. You guys, I really don't want to sleep in a tent again. Just close your eyes and think of the kitten! No leaving the house after curfew. But how? We could see you from our house. So that's where they live. Listen, mate, we're only out here because this cockroach-looking c*** stole the kitten. I wouldn't have had to do it if you four didn't decide to make my afterlife an unliving here. You're the one who came into our house and told us what to do with our kitten. Because your kitten kept trying to eat me. Yes, because you're a bug and Ginyu is a frog. That's no way for a mental health professional to speak about a trauma victim. Nine, we mean there's literally a frog's soul in his body. Called it! How long have you known? Well... This is one of the worst rap sheets I've seen in my life! The murder, the pillaging, and the jockstrap incident? Oh. <coughs> Ribbit! You disgust me. Unfortunately, you just clog the soul scrubber. But we've got ways of dealing with yeah. scum like you. Yeah. 
Shortly after, they learned it was unclerical error. But by the time we got severed, we've seen a marked improvement in your demeanors. Also, nobody in management wanted to take responsibility. So that means the real Catton is still kicking out there. Recoom is elated. But that means our Catton ain't the Catton. Uh, uh, oh, he's just a fraud, a frog fraud, a uh, fraud. Guess we don't really need him back then, right? Bullshit! Huh? That bug I too aren't leaping purple people eater may not be the man who taught us how to pose or made us do kegels till we puked, but he's still part of the team. Goldo, you. I'm talking. You're listening. I accepted him before any of you did, because you were just too scared to lose the Catton. But I wasn't. I made peace with that, and I made friends with him. He's my friend, just like all of you guys are my friends. Oh, Galdo. You had us at Kegels. Really? Yeah, you're right. We all sort of knew, deep down inside. Raccoon just didn't want to admit it. But he is part of the team now. He may not be the kitten, but he is a Ginyu. My god. <laughs> Course. Yames, what a beautiful moment. Hey, what are you? Trying not to ruin the moment. Guru, let him out. You are a coward. <laughs> Get you! Ah, oh, we're so sorry, boy. It's gonna be okay. Rikum will dig you a pond in the backyard. And we'll fill it with Shasta. <laughs> All right, now get those bombs out of my house. Oh, dude, we can't make actual bombs, okay? That was a bluff. Whew, that's that's actually good, huh? Mine was as well. <laughs> Guess we're not too different, huh? I... I'm sorry I stole your nod, Captain. And we're sorry about the chair, the couch, the paint, the glitter, and the mouse traps. And my trash bin. We didn't do anything to your trash bin. Oh, that little bitch. All right, everyone, this was a very sincere moment, and we're all very proud of your growth, but... If you don't get back inside immediately, we will literally bury you six feet in the ground. We have a long day tomorrow, and a very special visitor. Ugh, don't remind me. Huh, wonder what that's about. What's what about? Oh, there you are. Where do you sneak off to? Eh, nowhere special. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't here for all of... that. Really? Because I think you're hiding something. Okay, I was off banging Dodoria. <sighs> Fine, be that way. What's a secret between friends? So we are friends. We are if you tell me. Hmm. Pass. Ah, come on! Get the door! Will you keep it down, you noisy mother... Father? Good morning, princess. I told you, you pious stooge, I am no frog. I am Captain Ginyu of the illustrious Gin- <laughs> Is he trying to talk to me? Do we have a translator? Lay it off to the budget cats. No, oh, whatever. Just put him through the soul scrubber. I'm taking my lunch. <laughs> ah, Mr. Bunt. Jimothy Bunt. 
Right. Well, I have your equipment for your next mission right here. First, we have an exploding shoe. You simply rip it off your feet, rip out the laces, and then you have three seconds to throw it at your enemy before it explodes. What's to stop it from blowing off my legs? The laces. Next we have what appears to be your average Walter PPK, like the one you traditionally keep on your person, but it is in fact a one-way radio. You just place the muzzle in your mouth, pull the trigger, and then you can call for help anytime you want. You see? And uh, also, if you pull the trigger twice and throw it, it will explode. Why? In case you're captured and they confiscate your phone, you have this instead to like, you know, use as a one-way phone. Wouldn't they have confiscated my guns, if that were the case? Also, why do you keep making everything I put on my body capable of exploding? Lastly, we have a pair of Raycon earbuds. And what do these do? Well, they allow you to uh, listen to music or take calls with the press of a button with 8 hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life. Now these I, I can use. How will they hold up if things get messy? Try them for yourself. Yeah. Oh, impressive. I love the ear nipples. Well, uh, they're not nipples, they're gel tips, and they come in multiple sizes to fit any ear hole. However, on the job, I need to be aware of my surroundings. Earbuds may hinder that. But that's why the everyday earbuds have what's called an awareness mode, so you can listen to the things around you simultaneously. I like it. I may get a pair for myself off the clock as well. Well, luckily for you, they're half the price of competing brands and have over 49,000 five-star reviews. You've finally done something right for a change, T. Oh, that's not even the best part. I bring this pair to explode. Why? Why because do you, if you keep doing something this? to explode? You're going so to want it I, to explode. I, I, I hate you so much. Get your own pair of Raycon earbuds for 15% off by going to buyraycon.com slash team four star or clicking the link in the description. Description. Yeah, look at it's me! Uh, Raycons, yeah, you know, you know, you know what? Music and it's oh, I hope that didn't explode! explode.